How you do? It's Lulu here. Excuse the mess behind me. Uh, I am in my uh, fiance's office and it's normally quite untidy compared to how I'd have it. So um, apologies for the state behind me. Um, so just an update really on how I'm getting on with my braces at the moment. So I've had them now for uh, just short of two months and um, as you would expect they're not exactly a hundred percent comfortable they're quite uncomfortable most days um, there's like you get like occasional days where your brace starts rubbing in your inside of your mouth and you have put wax on it and then the next day it's totally fine so they're constantly like shifting all the time um, in terms of progress for the first sort of month and a half up until about only a week ago actually I um, my my teeth were sort of on a brace but there was a um a spring on the right hand side which i still have so the spring is still here um but basically it was to push my two teeth apart so that my my tooth could be brought forward um now they're all on one brace i still have the spring except that it's kind of pushing them apart so there's like a sort of duo action going on there so they're being pulled apart and being pushed forward um it's like the third time I've had my braces changed. So I had like standard bog standard silver uh, when I had them first of all, and then I had purple ones, and now I have pink ones, which you can't really see very well. They're pink at the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've had them changed three times. Um, what you can expect when you have your wires um, changed and your teeth tightened is um, so for the first two three days your teeth get mega mega sensitive because your teeth are moving at the, the most um, than they're going to in the whole time you have um, the wires in obviously with it being really hot weather a lot of, there's been a lot of expanding and contracting as well which has gone on which has been like really fucking uncomfortable um, otherwise it's been pretty good um, obviously my my speech at first I thought it was a bit slurry a bit sort of you know a bit crap but that seems to have calmed down little things really that you have to change like um, for example I can't whistle anymore because of the way that my lips are um, I can't say a certain words are a little bit funny to say it's eating total nightmare um, there are certain things that are now completely off the menu so Bread is just a bloody nightmare because it just gets stuck in all your braces. Anything sticky like toffee or caramel and stuff like that, just absolutely no point. Chewing gum, just completely off the menu. Even hard crusty things like crusty rolls or crusty bread uh, and that sort of thing I now avoid. I just don't eat at all. So it's been a kind of a bit of a mixed bag. It's been like I'm, I'm really happy that things are like progressing and things are moving. But at the same time it's bloody uncomfortable and it's bloody annoying as well. And it has totally changed my life so in terms of what I eat etc uh, etc et but obviously every cloud I'm losing a fuck ton of weight which is amazing I've lost like six or seven pounds in about sort of three weeks which is pretty awesome uh, and I'm noticing like I'm feeling a little bit healthier and stuff like that as well because I'm having to change my diet and changing what I'm eating uh, another thing really is I feel a little bit kind of dorky really with uh, my braces and my fringe It's made me feel like proper dweeby at the moment. So that's been a bit hilarious um, As well and feeling like I'm a little bit of a teenager at the moment But for some reason like it's just been a massive trend now suddenly like three or four people where I work have all just had braces installed So it seems to be the done thing now everyone in the 30s are getting braces if you didn't get it done in your 20s so or or even your late teens so that's kind of cool and I feel like a bit more moral support having people of the same age with braces as well which is great aside from the braces being um, like a thing that's just going on at the moment I mean I've got had them for two months like I say I'm kind of aiming to have them for another sort of 16 months although the progression has been much quicker than my um, orthodontist anticipated. So to give you an example, she said that my top teeth will all be on one brace by Christmas. They're on one brace now. So they've moved way quicker than she anticipated. And I may actually have these braces out middle of next year for all I know, early to middle of next year. I don't know what the situation is gonna look like in six months time, but there is already a drastic change within two months. 
but aside from the braces um, what else has been going on so I went to download festival again having the braces was interesting at download festival and having to manually brush your teeth and stuff like that not having an electric toothbrush with you that was all like interesting um, obviously a lot of the food at download is burgers hot dogs the stuff with bread again stuff that you just kind of avoid with braces so it was interesting and obviously walking around a lot helped me lose a lot of weight which is which is good download festival was amazeballs i absolutely loved it uh avenge sevenfold were one of the best um headliners of the weekend guns and roses didn't impress me at all axel rose was all right uh they had a three hour set i got bored after about an hour and a half and i left my fiance and my brother stayed but um i just wasn't impressed i don't get the big deal with guns and roses they're just no uh, and then other highlights really Volbeat were amazing baby metal were hilarious um, to see as well download was just a really great vibe this year and had lots of cool other stuff going on obviously you've got the rock clubs and that sort of thing but we had um, the wrestling as well that's been going on for a few years now and there was like medieval battles and stuff as well which was like super cool to watch and just we just did different things that I've normally done from every download festival I've gone to it's tend to always be about the music uh, and when I used to go there with my ex and friends it was always about the music whereas this year I know it was like no I'm going to do something different and I started seeing all the other things and had a wander around and did different stuff which was really really cool actually uh, and hopefully next year's lineup will be better because there wasn't really a lot in terms of music for me I saw about sort of seven eight bands the whole weekend uh, which is a little for me and um so hopefully this it's much better lineup next year and I'm holding out for Ramstein and no doubt Metallica because Metallica haven't been there for a while now. Um, other than that and the music and work and the usual shit that I speak about, one thing that uh, I've definitely learned in the last month um, is that if somebody has it in their head that they don't like you or they feel threatened by you for whatever reason no amount of convincing or being nice to them or doing nice things or saying nice things or being complimentary or even bothering to make an effort none of that makes a fucking difference because if someone in their head has decided that you are a threat or they don't like you or they feel you know um intimidated by you that you will not convince them otherwise um, and I think that in the last month I've learned that sometimes you just have to let people be with their issues and deal with stuff in their own time and you just have to let them get on with it and if they think that you are bad for their health then fine um, that's their problem that's not yours so that's the one thing I've been kind of mulling over a lot in the last month um, but at the same time it was also a blessing in disguise because now I feel like a big weight has been lifted off my shoulders so I feel like I've been carrying a lot of emotional weight and baggage um, from somebody else uh, which has been really strange because I didn't think I actually was uh, and now I feel a bit more light a bit more relieved so um, that's just something else that kind of came up in the last month or so and if anything that now being out of my life I feel a little bit more um, chilled out and I'm just been getting on with stuff without um, without thinking about what I'm doing or thinking about what I'm putting online and not being concerned of whether I'm upsetting anybody or offending anybody I feel like I've got a little bit of my freedom back which has been awesome um, in terms of being creative I am being creative but obviously I'm being way more mindful of what I'm putting online and what I'm what I'm doing and what I'm showing because I am aware that no matter how much people convince themselves that they're going to close the door and not look anymore I know that every human being has temptations and I'm being watched no matter what people say I know that I'm being watched so I'm kind of still controlling what I'm doing but to a lesser degree than what I was say two three months ago so um 
obviously creativity though at the moment hasn't been the top of my priority list because we've got loads of kittens in the house there's stuff going on at work there's stuff going on with my braces and my sister moved last week so I was doing that there's been lots of stuff going on at the moment it's been absolutely manic and I don't have any free time now until the 11th of August so creativity has taken a back burner um, but yeah, so that was just something I wanted to say because that's something that's been on my mind and I need to get it, get it out. So, um, anywho, this was like short and sweet um, in, in terms of as short as it could be. Sorry about the cat being in my way. Um, and yeah, peace out. And I'll probably put a little update on my braces very soon. Cheers. Bye.